Many centuries ago, a man named Noah had the idea of pairing off all the animals and keeping them afloat. And now the good people of St. Louis, Missouri, have floated a scheme to pair them off and keep them in their natural surroundings, which is one up on old man Noah. Neck, neck, who's there? Why, it's George and Minnie with their chins well up. Most of the climbing animals can gamble at will in vast compounds until they get your goat. Who are you gaping at, eh? The big enclosures are made to look as much like the animal's natural homes as a florin can look like a pea shilling to, uh, poo shilling to, to bob, even to the texture of the artificial rocks. A deep moat separating the animals from their admirers makes bars and walls unnecessary. A wire fence round the edge is not to stop the llama from getting out, but to keep Mr and Mrs Public from falling in. A llama isn't a cannibal anyway. The zoo provides a home for many sensitive creatures, like these springer antelopes who do not, as a rule, thrive in captivity. And aren't the little bounders happy? The bears don't do so badly either, and they don't mind if their meals are thrown at them. Father Bear seems pretty well satisfied anyway. Sometimes a little argument crops up, of course. In this case, it's to decide whether the zebra is black with white stripes or white with black stripes. Sorry they're making such striped asses of themselves. Ideal conditions for the animals bring out the best in them. They quickly respond to a little understanding, and even Mother Ibex gives a few secrets away in showing Desmond, her son, the rudiments of mountain climbing. The old man horns in to see how Junior's getting on. Desmond! Now, where have you been? Oh, I see. But as usual, the star performers are the chimps, and the monkeys of St. Louis have formed themselves into an acrobatic troupe that's every bit as good as many human performers. Jackie claims to be the only chimp in the world that can ride a unicycle. And aren't they nuts on Pogo? Oh, oh he's got ants in his pants. One of the high spots of animal training is a back somersault from springboard to a ball. They seem to know how good they are. They applaud themselves. If it's imitations you want, trust an ape to do the aping, even to the bored expression of a man with an eyeglass. One peculiarity about apes is that when they reach the mature age of 10, they become a little awkward and difficult to manage. So fresh and younger monkey glands are introduced to the troop from time to time to keep the act going. Look at the muscular effort required in a trick like this. They do it not merely because they're trained, but because they're contented. Why shouldn't he applaud? It's a great act. And there's a moral that applies to both animals and humans. Keep them happy and you can keep them. <laughs>